time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy and Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who's also the editor of Coindesk, the state of crypto newsletter. Good morning, Nick. So we spoke about previously, you know, Diem is dead, but lawmakers still want to talk about stable coins, don't they? Morning, yeah. So we're gearing up to uh, head into not one, but two different hearings on stable coins. Next week, the House Financial Services Committee is going to hold a hearing on stable coins on Tuesday. And the week after, the Senate Banking Committee is going to hold their own version of that hearing. Both of these hearings are inspired by the President's Working Group on Financial Markets Report on Stablecoins, which came out last November. So they'll be discussing the recommendations. The first hearing next week, we'll be talking to Nellie Liang, Undersecretary for Domestic Finance at the Treasury Department. So uh, she is one of the individuals who worked on this report. And uh, I imagine they're just going to be you know, trying to get some further details on what the recommendations are, how to implement them, and what the key risks that the report seeks to address are. Nick, I guess we saw some uh, papers floating around uh, that are going to be uh, presented uh, at the hearings. Uh, what do they tell us about uh, where this is going? So there is a draft discussion bill floating around circulated by Representative Josh Gottheimer of New Jersey. However, my understanding is that this isn't a formal uh, committee document yet. This is just a representative kind of, you know, trying to figure out what his interpretation of the report is and what the recommendations might look like if in, uh, you know, a legal form. So uh, this isn't going to be uh, discussed heavily at the hearing, I don't think. It's just kind of, you know, right now just a single lawmaker. It does seem that there is support uh, from other lawmakers for this, so it's very possible we'll see this adopted and possibly introduced later down the line. But, you know, the Bill circulating right now, if enacted, would require stablecoin issuers to be uh, either you know banks, of course, or you know uh, non-bank entities that are uh, they have you know 100% collateral. They are uh, keeping their reserves in uh, insured depository institutions. They have uh, well, obviously, they cover from the insurance uh, side of it, but also that you know they're invested in U.S. dollars, securities issued by the federal government or, you know, possibly anything that the Treasury Secretary allows as a reserve asset. So, you know, you can't just, uh, you know, put your reserves in a basket of assets or whatever. There's some pretty stringent restrictions on what a stablecoin issuer can or cannot do.